there's still a lot we don't know about why and where they're most likely to appear. Their strength is measured with the enhanced Fujita scale, a retrospective rating that goes from 0 to 5 by assessing the wind speed and damage caused by a tornado. The kind of damage considered includes the destruction of everything from small barns to high-rise buildings. The EF scale rounds off wind speeds at 512 km per hour in a category that encompasses strong frame houses lifted off foundations and carried considerable distances to disintegrate, automobile-sized missiles fly through the air in excess of 100 meters, trees debarked, steel reinforced concrete structures badly damaged. Despite the ferocity of tornadoes, the NOAA reports that even the worst of them typically have a 99% survival rate, but that doesn't mean it isn't worth taking all available precautions to avoid winding up inside one. For the best advice on what to do in the event of a tornado, whether you're in your car, at home or outside, visit their safety advisory.